Welcome to the F5 Networks, Advanced Web Application Firewall, Demos Eras. In this demo, we'll show how to use the Data Guard feature for preventing information leakage, and how to attain PCI compliance using Big IP Advanced Web, F5 Networks Industry Leading Web Application Firewall. This is Demo 5 of the AOF Demo Series, and it's intended for users that are new to Big IP Advanced Web. For optimal viewing, we recommend using full screen mode. The environment for this demo contains three devices. A Windows workstation will be used to submit requests with credit card and social security numbers. These requests will arrive at the F5 Big IP system, running Advanced WEF. The Big IP system sits in front of, and protects, the back end web application. The Big IP system, using its full proxy architecture, examines every request before sending them to the back end web server. The Big IP system also uses its full proxy architecture to examine responses and will mask any confidential data before sending them to the client. Let's start by examining the threat of information leakage. Information leakage is an application weakness where an application reveals sensitive data, such as technical details of the web application, environment, or user-specific data. We'll use the Dam Vulnerable Web Application, or DVWA for short. We'll use the web form on this page to send a request to the web server which includes a credit card number. The response from the web server also includes the entire credit card number. This is an example of information leakage and is not PCI compliant. PCI, or the payment card industry, is an information security standard for organizations that handle branded credit cards. The PCI standard is mandated by the card brands and administered by the Payment Card Industry Security Standards Council. The standard was created to increase controls around cardholder data to reduce credit card fraud. Let's see how to mitigate this vulnerability using Big IP Advanced WEF. First, we'll take a look at the virtual server we were just using to access the DVWA website. This is a standard HTTP virtual server that listens on 10.1.10.35. Note that this virtual server contains the default HTTP profile. An HTTP profile is required to protect against application layer attacks. On the Security, Policies page. You can see that we've already created a big IP advanced WEF security policy named 05, Data Guard, Security Policy. This security policy does not include information leakage protection. Now, let's examine a built-in big IP advanced WEF report, used to identify the PCI compliance for this web application. Currently. There are four requirements that are not yet PCI compliant. The first incomplete requirement has to do with the user accounts on the Big IP system. To be PCI compliant, every Big IP system administrator must use their own user account and not share the built-in admin account. We'll fix this by opening the user list page and creating a new user account. Making this new user a big IP system operator. Once we've completed this, we can rerun the PCI compliance report. We've now fulfilled PCI Compliance Sub-Requirement 8. The next requirement that's incomplete is due to the Big IP system not having a password policy, which means that currently Big IP system administrators can continue using the same passwords indefinitely. Again, 
this is not PCI compliant. For this issue, we can simply click the Fix Automatically button. After the page refreshes, you can see that we've now fulfilled PCI compliance sub requirement 8B. What this button accomplished was creating a password policy on this big IP system that will require all big IP system users to change their passwords every 90 days. The third incomplete requirement has to do with the failure to properly encrypt transmission of credit card data across the Internet. This is because the virtual server is using port 80 or HTTP. To meet PCI compliance, the web application must be using HTTPS and secure certificates. We'll fix this using two steps. First, we'll click the Fix Automatically button. We are notified that all insecure SSL profiles will be removed. Next, we'll edit the virtual server properties. We'll change the virtual server to use port 443. Notice that Big IP Advanced WF added a new SSL profile named PCI Compliant, Client, SSL. We'll update the virtual server and then rerun the PCI Compliance report. We've now completed PCI sub requirement 4. The final incomplete requirement has to do with protecting credit card data or information leakage. As we saw earlier, this web application is currently allowing credit card numbers in the web server responses. We'll fix this by using a big IP advanced web feature named DataGuard. To use this feature, we simply need to select the DataGuard checkbox. Notice by default this feature is enabled for both credit card numbers and US social security numbers. We'll now save and then apply the security policy. When updating a security policy with Big IP Advanced WEF, you must always click Apply Policy to see the changes in the web application. Now, let's examine the change to the web application. First, we'll use a new bookmark that uses the HTTPS version of the web application. We'll access the web page we used earlier to submit the credit card number. You can see that the credit card number we input earlier is now displaying with asterisk characters, except for the last four digits. This is because Big IP Advanced Web scrubbed the confidential data from the web server response before sending it to the client. Let's add a second entry for a different type of credit card. DataGuard is now protecting all valid credit card numbers against information leakage. Let's submit a third entry, this one containing a US social security number. This confidential number is also masked by Big IP Advanced WEF. We were able to accomplish scrubbing confidential data with a single checkbox in the Big IP Advanced WEF security policy and with no configuration changes necessary on the web servers. Let's rerun the PCI compliance report again. We have now completed all the security measures required for PCI compliance. We can create a PDF file of the compliance report for our records. This report contains all the details needed for an organization to verify that their web application meets PCI compliance requirements. Thank you for watching this demonstration on using DataGuard to prevent information leakage 
and how to attain PCI compliance using a big IP advanced WEF security policy. We encourage you to watch additional AWEF demos. And for more details on how advanced WEF can protect your web applications, contact your F5 Network Sales Account Manager. For questions or comments about this video, contact Chris Manley at the email address at the bottom of the page.